Every deck has its own legacy and position of power. Where does your deck fall among the rubble? Every two weeks, a tournament is played out, but for every archetype that makes it to the final stage, they are banished for the rest of the series. Who will be the last card standing? Magista Spellbooks versus Clifforts. Okay, all right. What the heck is that? I've never seen this card in my life. Painful Escape. Could be a monster and add a monster with the same original type, attribute, and level with a different original name from your deck or grave to your hand. Uh, so it basically lets you trigger things like Helix and stuff for free. I see. Okay, so we're going to start with a Spellbook of Judgment here. Really, is going to be normal summon and activated, but we've got Recreate which is a very weird way to negate. It's like an optional trigger, like, negate. It doesn't actually work some most of the time, but it seems like it worked out here. We've got Crowley, we've got Dimensional Fissure, and now we're gonna link up into the actual Crowley here. Crowley revealing three spellbooks. Okay, we are actually playing some spellbooks, it looks like. This is, this is technically a spellbook deck. All right, got it. Uh, we're gonna add Fate here, and Set and Pass End Phase. We're going to add one, two... Three copies of Spellbooks into a End Phase Fate here. Banishing three here. Chains Painful Escape to tribute the Helix to pop a card. Uh, pop a... Uh, is it? Is it a... Uh, Helix pops a back row here, right? Adds a carrier from deck to the hand with a Painful Escape. Uh, Scout's gonna get banished by the Spellbook of Fate. And then the End Phase, the Helix pops the uh, Fate there. All right. Uh, we're gonna go Clifford Scout here. Scout's gonna add a copy of Sacrifice. Normal Summons out Carrier. Yes, I bet you didn't expect normal summoning big Clifford monsters in your Jalgen strategy, did you? Gonna punch over the Jalgen here and uh, set climate change. Uh, this deck is definitely very much uh, environmentally aware here, so that's that's good to see. Magistrus of Ritra brings back the Riliona. Riliona activates to add a copy of Trimagistus. Trimagistus activates to do what? Uh, normal summon? Okay, goes into the Zoroa. Equips here, pops the climate change. No, not the planet! Public of Secrets gets Master. Master reveal for the secrets to add another copy of the Grand Spellbook of Tower. Uh, synchros up into the big boss man himself, Varam. He's gonna be negated though. Battle phase, crashes himself. When destroyed, destroys all cards your opponent controls. Oh boy, alright. Well, unfortunately, Sacrifice is going to trigger to add the Cliff or Scout, however, so we might still be in this. Top deck's a Stealth here. We got Scout. Scout gonna get a uh, low scale, gonna go for a Cliff or Monolith, and that's gonna be a Power Arm out of two monsters here. Tributes both for the Cliff or Stealth. Stealth's going to activate to bounce the tower. Battle phase attacks over the Crowley, and then in the end phase, the Monolith that draws two cards because of the number of monsters we tributed. Top deck's a Wavering Eyes and a Sacrifice. All right, whether he gets to return the turn, uh, clap back here into a Eternity for a Knowledge. And we're gonna pitch two cards here. Life to draw two, gets another Zoroa, Trimagistus. Extra normal summon, I think, right? Uses the Zoroa effect to equip the Link monster. The Link monster adds Riliona, Riliona normal summon. Gets to add a copy of Invocation. My god, it's just Alistair on legs. Zoroa, the Synchro Monster, is here, which is equipping a Magistus from the deck here. The extra deck, it's a Link Monster. Punches over the Clifford Stealth. All of them are being banished from the DiFi, by the way. There's the Spellbook Tower here. Passes it up. Draw for a turn. Gets a Clifford Towers here. All right, activates the uh, Scout to get a Helix here. Pendulum summons out two monsters. Sacrifice treats it as two tributes. Tributes out to Killer himself. Helix is going to pop the tower. Sacrifice is going to add another Cliff Orc card from the deck to the hand here. And uh, once uh, Killer is here, that's going to be uh, it's, it's gonna be hard to deal with. All right, Spellbook Tower specials out the uh, little boy here. Killer attacks over the Synchro Monster. Apparently, it can be destroyed by battle because of the Trimagistus. Activates the towers to force your opponent to send the monster they control. Chooses to send the uh, blue boy. End phase draws two cards. Cephalopod into Summoner's Art. Link Monster is activated under the Zoroa, which gets you a search here. Trimagistus, extra normal summon. Zoroa increasing the attack, equipping the fusion. Big enough to out the towers. And Killer is gone. 
Attacks over for 1,800 life points remaining. How are we going to get out of this one here? We've drawn a lot of cards with the bottle left here. You're playing Sky Base. My god. Life points pay down to 1,000 here. Only one scout remaining. Sacrifice equips. Triple tr summon of the Sky Base. Helix pop. Sacrifice search. What does Sky Base do? It's been so long. I don't even remember. It's, it's towers at home. That's a copy of the Clifford disc here. Sky base activates to target a monster to steal! It steals! No way! 100 life points wavering eyes for a game! <laughs> oh boy, we got some Fire King action here versus, uh, versus insects. Bit of a slow start though, as we've got our Vata pass here with a Torrential. See what this insect deck can do here. We got Dragon Bite. Going to use our Vata, which just negates the effect to destroy a card in our hand here. Are we going to destroy Barong? We are indeed. Destroy the Barong for a search of any Fire King card next standby phase. Oh boy, are you excited for the support of this deck? Dragon Bite banishing the resident's insect from the hand here to manipulate the level, apparently, which dumps Goki Pole, which adds a copy of the Guard Mantis. Special summons out Fairy Ant, the Circular Sorcerer, which is met with a big Torrential Tribute. Our Vata activates the effect here and chains the Barong in the hand. When destroyed by Torrential Tribute, Barong special summons itself, and Arvata revives the Barong in the graveyard, which then destroys it again. Are we, does, this, does this count as like two searches or what? And by phase, Barong effect adds a Fire King Island. Okay, just one search. Fire King Island is searched out here, destroys the Sacred Phoenix. Uh, oh, the Barong in the hand, actually, for an Arvata. All right, so apparently Fire King is just Arvata control. Noted. Not sure why you guys are playing Cross out. Like, what are you hoping to stop with these cards? <laughs> Every hand trap is banned. Standby phase, we're going to add a Fire King Garunix here. Uh, Mantis pays life points to special summons itself. Links off with the Goki Pole, I think that was, into a Shinobi. Negating the Goki Pole, Goki pole in the graveyard here to destroy uh, probably Garunix, right? Destroying the Garunix in the hand here. Special summons the Clarent, which can keep extending into Papillon. Papillon's going to gain some counters here. And battle phase punches over the Arvata. Arvata effect in the graveyard when destroyed. Revives the Barong. God, this is an annoying deck to deal with. Triggers the Barong to destroy in the standby. We're going to get another search next turn. Top like an island. That's not ideal. Fire King Garunix is activated to bring itself back. Chaining the Papillon. Apparently, we want to trigger something here. Goki Pole is what we're looking for. Garunix is brought back here. Destroys everything on the field. Pops the Papillon. Triggers the Goki Pole. Goki Pole adds a copy of Big Insect. <laughs> To destroy the Garunix. Yeah, I don't know if you really want to be doing that, my friend. But I guess it means we're not going to die. Barong is going to add Onslaught of the Fire Kings. And ladies and gentlemen, if you played 10 years ago, I think you know what's about to happen here. We used to call this the Garunix Loop. Which I'm pretty sure is now online. Alright, punching for some damage here. Pass turn. Onslaught destroys Garunix in the end phase. Standby phase. Garunix triggers to bring itself back. Triggers to destroy the Barong. The other Garunix triggers to bring itself back to destroy the other Garunix. We've got a looping dark hole every single standby phase now. That's how that works. It's been a while, but some of you old boomers might remember this. It's, uh, it's, it's been a while. All right, we got Brute Enforcer here. Activating to destroy the Fire King Island. Fire King Island destroys the Garunix. I still don't know if that it really does much. All right, draw for turn here. This Fire King Island is, uh, I guess, going to be a good top deck, all things considered. If Sacred King neps this, brings itself back, destroys your own back row here. Fire King Garunix brings itself back, destroys the Sacred King nep this. So we, we not only have a Dark Hole loop, we also have a uh, Heavy Storm loop. Spells and traps and monsters every single turn. Every single turn going to be destroyed here. Uh, but that's going to be the end of the duel here. But should this continue, got Garunix, looping Garunix with Sacred Phoenix is, uh, it's old school. We've got Bujin versus uh, Battle Wasps. Okay, we're gonna go into a tanky for Mahatitsu. Pitching out to the hare. Gonna banish the hare here to dump turtle. Special summons out the Arasuda. Ranks up into sus. Ooh -woo. Detaching to add a copy of Hiroko. This is the best card in the deck, dude. Torafun tribute to, uh, although uh, to, be, to be fair, Lone Fire for two is also pretty good. Hiroko going to banish itself to uh, rank up the Sus Uwu into Amaterasu. Going to overlay into a second Sus Uwu. And he's going to activate the effect to detach and add a copy of Harumi. Uh, Amaterasu going to detach to bring back the hair. Summon out the Harumi. Going to go into a Bujinti Tsukiyomi. Tsukiyomi detaches to discard and draw two cards here. 
And gets a Tenki and another Torafoon. Just gonna pass it up here. Not a lot of staples on your deck, huh? Just pure engine, okay. Amaterasu in the standby phase brings back the Amaterasu or tries to add it back. We're gonna go Chalice negate Amaterasu here. Okay, we also have to play through what? A target protection and two destruction protections. My god. Ujin looking kind of nice here. We're gonna go Small World, adding Resonance Insect, banishing Mother Spider. <laughs> Dragon Bite plus Resident Insects into Diablantis. Chained by uh, the Residence Insect here. Okay, Diablantis effect dumps a Residence Insect. Resident Insect adds another copy of uh, adds a Doom Dozer, banishing double Resident Insects for double Doom Dozer. Double Residence Insect now gets to f uh, dump two insects from the deck to the grave. Here, we're gonna send something in a Goki pole, surely. Oh my god, no, we're gonna send the freaking new guy. What is it called? Beer Gam? And Praying Mantis, and then we're gonna sync up into Zolkin. Zolkin set a card, trigger, chain the hair here to protect, just in case we have a bit of a negate jump scare or something here. Sus Uwu protected for the turn by destruction from the hair here. Special summons out Crystal Wing. Summons uh, the Bear Gram. They gave this thing an animation. My god, what does this thing even do? So it summons itself to the grave by banishing three insects. Your opponent can activate monster effects in response to your spells and traps or effect activation during your main phase to draw face all monsters on the field except insects and plants. All right. Well, we're going to attack over everything here. Everything he thing here. Praying Mantis activates in main phase two. Summons out a token. Links up into Brute Enforcer. Brute Enforcer discards a Battle Wasp. Pierce tries to spin away the Amaterasu. Bujin Turtle, however, is going to negate and destroy. Crystal Wing negates the turtle, however. Okay. We are going to successfully remove the Amaterasu here. Uh, next up, we're going to go into a Link 3 for Papillon. And Papio gets to place uh, counters on this and pass it up here. Okay, all right. Well, there's still a lot to contend with. Standby phase, we're going to use this to bring back the Battle Wasp Sting the Poison. And that adds a pin. All right, let's see how we're going to play through this. We've got Tenki. Tenki adds a copy of Mahatutsu. Activating his effect here to discard the hair to special summon himself, which dumps or banishes to dump. That's going to get negated by Chalice. They'll want you to send a Quillen that we can just force out on the Crystal Wing here. Negate the uh, Matutsu. Going to activate the effect of Sus Uwu. Going to chain the effect of Sting the Poison to negate the effect of Sasano. Does it destroy? I assume it doesn't destroy. No. Okay, we're going to go up, rank up into Vespinato. Battle phase crashes into the Crystal Wing. Triggers the Vespinato. Vespinato brings back Arasuda. Arasuda in the battle phase attacks over the Battle Wasp. Main phase two. Overlays into Silent Honor Arc. Silent Honor Arc detached to steal the Crystal Wing. Forcing out, negating, and destroying. In main phase two, no battle phase to force this out. How are we going to remove this from the field here? Goes up to 51 as well. Normal summon the Torafun as the last card in hand. Tribute, Lone Fire, special summon two cards here. Quillen and Susanu. This is going to... I, I've pronounced this guy in seven different ways. I apologize. We're going to add a copy of Hiroko here. Scaling the Hiroko. Hiroko is going to activate to banish itself to rank up into the Amaterasu. And then the Amaterasu is going to detach to add back a copy of the Turtle here. Quillen gets to banish to finally clear the last card. Gets rid of the Crystal Wing and passes turn. Uh, can we do anything here? I mean, we still have that stupid big insect in the grave, don't we? Gonna recycle the Torafu into our hand here with the Amaterasu. Normal summon out Drag Bite, Dragon Bite. We've got Pin here. Deals 200. Everyone take 200. Links up into the Shinobi Insect. Banishing three for the Bear Gam. Battle phase attacks over the Turtle here. Uh, this activates apparently. Brings back the Battle Wasp. Main phase two. Activates the effect of Bear Gram. That's going to protect the Amaterasu by chaining the Bujingi hair in the graveyard. Wow, we have so much gas in the tank here somehow still. Look at this. All right, draw for turn. Is this going to be the end? We've got Amaterasu. Battle phase attacks over the Battle Wasp here to remove the negate. Next, we're going to go main phase two here. Torafun tribute to special summon out Sinyu in the Mahatutso. Mahatutso banishing the Sasano. Dumps a turtle. Overlays into Castel. I think that's finally how we're going to find uh, get rid of this insect block dragon and then pass turn here. Uh, we need him to not top deck anything. That is about as dead as dead of a card as you could draw in this situation here. All right, draws for turn here into the centipede, and this should probably be, be the game. Battle phase attacks over the centipede, Castel, and Amaterasu. I guess there's no materials on this, so we do just have like three vanillas. Can we draw anything? Giant ball game. And nope, that's it. GG. The Magnet Warriors versus the Trap Monsters. All right, Narf. Now, I haven't seen you do anything crazy cool with this deck yet, but here's a duality for a Metal Reflex Slime. And that looks like kind of like full combo, doesn't it? Okay, Pot of Extravagance. Gonna draw two cards here. 
And we're gonna normal summon Albeda, the Magnet Warrior, for Epsilon. Activate the Magnet Induction, which specials out Gamma from the deck here. I think this one sends one. Oh, it specials from the hand here for Alpha. Alpha for Berserkion. It's live! It's live! It's live! Oh, we're not gonna go for it. Okay. Battle phase attack over the statue pattern. That's gonna be hit with an MST Chain Imperial Custom to protect our traps from being destroyed. Yeah, I don't know why we don't play this in Floodgate decks, am I right? Alright, here's the Anguish pattern here. Summons itself in defense is 25, not gonna summon the Berserkion, it looks like. And that's an Azuri statue, which is pretty good as well. End phase, we're gonna tag out the Beta into an Epsilon here. Epsilon sends Delta, and Alpha brings itself back here. Sorry, Beta, Alpha then tributes to special summon out. Uh, this one from the deck, this one from the hand, who really knows? We're summoning Al Delta! We're adding a Gamma! Wow, we have generated so much advantage, this is incredible. Why are we not summoning Valkyrion? That's what I want to know. Here's an Azuri statue here. Chain Book of Moon on the statue pattern. Uh, I think, uh, I, I'm not sure if there's a reason for that, but okay, we're gonna set the trap card, <laughs> sure. <laughs> it can come back next turn. We're banishing three cards for Berserkion, negating the summon with the Azuri uh, Azurun. It is the, uh, it is the Solemn Morning statue. Doki Doki! Discards and special summons here. Gonna climb up into Lanfarinkus. Lanfarinkus effect climbing up into Raster Liger. Raster Liger effect. Target to tribute to destroy the Imperial Custom. Triggers the Magnet Warrior, the Mana, Mana Dragon Zertronian, which resets the Imperial Custom here. Uh, targets the Link Monster to gain, to, uh, to gain the attack point. Summons another Berserkion. Berserkion is then bounced back into the hand here. Get out of here. Raster Liger attacks over the Zernatron. Main phase two, end phase pass, no metal reflect slime. Okay, we'll summon it soon, I, 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 su I suppose. Here's the pattern back out here. There's the metal reflect slime in defense mode. Activates this thing, destroys, and then we're going to climb up into the Egyptian god slime here for some offense. Going to go and attack for 3,000 damage. Uh, so the pattern destroys cards when a trap monster is special summoned. Pretty smart here. Here's MST, going to target a random back row, going to chain to special, and then chain to... Uh, protect with the Imperial Custom. Uh, is there a point of activating this here? Because, yeah, I mean, you have to, right? Otherwise, it just will die forever. So you can't use this as disruption. So now your opponent can play the game here. I don't know what that really consists of, other than trying to set up this Berserkion. It looks like we can't right now, so we're gonna have to pass turn here. When it draws into a Mana Dragon, that's gonna be Tribute Summoned. And we're just gonna attack and clear off these Magnet Warriors here. All right, it's looking pretty grim now. I don't know how you're getting out of this. This guy's just kind of sitting as a brick in your hand there. That's a good card, Magnet Field. I haven't played Speed Duel, but I know that it's the best card, uh, best uh, deck in the game, or at least it was at some point. Epsilon dumps a Gamma here. Epsilon brought back, banishing three, and a guy from the grave. Summon Berserkion. Berserkion is now online. It is Access Code Talker. Banish to destroy. Banish to destroy. Banish. To destroy. One more time. No, we're just going to go battle phase. Punch over 13, 16. And I guess that was probably the best in top deck in the entire game for, for Magnet Warriors. You really don't get better than that. Narfna is down to 3,300. Draws into a Lord. And that's GG. Oh, God. Valence. What does this deck even do? What is your opponent playing? What is this? Scape Ghost? Auto Duality? Switch a Roru? Tant trap tantalizing Chun here. It's not a trap tricks card, so it's technically legal. Into set. Oh my god, Volcanic Queen tributes off the Scape Ghost. <laughs> Volcanic Queen is the new staple, it looks like. It's Lava Golem, but for one, and also stops your normal summon. Did you just reveal a Flame Manipulator off the top of your deck? You guys did not see that, but we just revealed a Flame Manipulator with this. Actually summoning out the Valance uh, scale here. Gets to go into Beyond the Pendulum. Now we've got a scale 1 and 9. Oh, we're going to use our field spell to put our opponent's monster that we gave them into the spell and trap zone. Scaling up 2 here. Pen summoning out 2 Valance monster. Activates the Spirit Pendulum monster. Triggering the Beyond, which pops 2 cards. Chaining to summon out Scapegoat. Half our life points have been paid, though, from the Pryrice map. I think that was what we used, right? Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to see what exactly this deck does because of the Volcanic Queen. Uh, bouncing this scale here, activating the Valance Wars, getting another field spell, popping our own field spell to go for Senate Switch. Wow, imagine being able to search Senate Switch. Using the effect here to move the girl here. When she moves, she uses the effect to get a search for Viscount. This guy activates in the scale here, summons itself, activates to 
scale something from the extra deck into a triple burst dragon. That's a piercer, I guess. That that can help. Battle phase here. Triple burst dragon pierces for 24. Rest of the monsters are not going to pierce, though. Any burn damage for 16? We're going to contact fuse into the Valens Genesis Grand Duke, whatever that is. Activates a scapegoat here. Oh my god, there's no way. There's no way. Sets a switcheroo here. Draw phase. Are we going to flip it in this draw? Draw phase switcheroo. Swaps the entire field. <laughs> what is your deck? Activates uh, the Valence Girl Heal special. Summons itself. Uses the opponent's field. Puts the triple burst down there. Attacks with the Karate Spirit. Main phase two. Pass turn. Can't do anything. Bounces itself to the hand here. Oh my god. All right. We top deck a card of Demise. Using the opponent's field spell. Special summoning the triple burst dragon. Setting a card. Piercing one of the tokens. Clearing your own scapegoat tokens with some damage as well, by the way. 600 life points remaining, however. All right. What can we do here? Set it switch. Gonna move a scapegoat token. Triggering the field spell. Popping the back row, putting a monster into the back row. Karate Spirit activates. Activates this spell in the graveyard. Scales up. Pen summons two now. Spirit bounces to the hand here. Triggers this thing. Flips a coin. Hits tails. Reduces the attack. Rolls a dice. What does this deck even do? Reveals two off the top. Excavates an archer. Tributes to go into the pendulum of fusion guy. It uh, uh, just burns somehow. <laughs> What is your deck? It's, it's, is it rank fours? Rank fours versus rank fours. Okay, we got Time Thief rank fours versus Raid Raptor, Bujin, Summoner Monk rank fours. Well, here is uh, Four Tricks into the Singing Lanius Bezel Ship Detaches. Using this just as material here. Oh, no, no, we're going to keep going here. Wise Tricks. Wise Tricks effect. Special summons out Singing Lanius. Going to go into a Four Tricks. Again, Four Tricks effect. Detaches. Adds a copy of Strangle Lanius. Wise Tricks gets a trigger. Sets a copy of Shave Force. No Cyber Dragon, it's banned. So what is our target? It is Heratic Dragon of Atom. <laughs> what is this man cooking? Triangle Lanius brings back the the uh, other Lanius, goes into a Time Thief Redoer. And Atom is going to special out Brotor. Brotor discard adds a copy of Galactic Spiral Dragon, which then converts the Brotor to level 8 to make a rank 8 into Draglubion. And Draglubion summons number 38, probably? What is that? What is that? What is that? Link Mail Archfiend. If this is special, target a Ritual Fusion Synchro or XC you control or in your grave, and all monsters your opponent currently controls lose attack equal to that until the end of the turn. Your opponent cannot target monsters you control, summon from the extra deck with monster effects. And if this would be the straw battle card effects, banish a Ritual Fusion Synchro or XC from your graveyard. Okay, so it offers targeting protection to all of your monsters. Oh, we summoned Heart Earth. Uh, all right, so I guess we get to banish all the back row in the end phase, potentially. All right, we're going to go redo our attach. We hit a spell card in the standby phase here. There's Summoner Monk. That's going to be immediately hit with Chalice. That's hilarious, honestly. Uh, I don't think we have any more ways to extend, it looks like. Uh, here's a Bamboo Sword, though. Oh, 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 draw two, draw two. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. And we get to add one or something, right? How do these cursed swords work? Discard effect here from Chalice. Discard for cost gets the trigger to add a golden bamboo sword. Wow, someone among discarding for cost. Kind of nice, huh? Okay. Uh, okay, so it's like a Bujin rank 4 mix deck here. Into Bujinki Ahashima. Ahashima effect gets the trigger and is chain blocked by the bamboo sword. That's kind of nice, actually. All right, adds another golden bamboo sword here. Ahashima summons back the these guys. Overlays these two into King of the Pharaoh Imps. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Adds any reptile. We're gonna add G. <laughs> Divine Serpent G. Alright, Bamboo Sword is activated to draw two more. I think uh, Destiny's had uh, enough of your bullshit here. No more drawing cards for you. Negates and equips the uh, Bamboo Sword here. Second Bamboo Sword, the cursed one, destroys this guy after it. Well, I guess it destroys after being linked up into Vespacito. Vespacito crashing into the Link Mail Archfiend to target the Torafoon. Now the Torafoon in main phase two is no longer negated. Can start summoning Mujins from the deck here. Send you an Arasuda for a Sus Uwu. Uh, Sus Uwu needs to try and survive one turn. It's going to be kind of hard versus this bullshit. I'm not going to lie here. Uh, Ahashima apparently can just trigger to pop a card when a Bujin monster is activated. Okay, bonus effect. Let's go. Heart Earth Dragon apparently during the end phase detaches to destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Uh, a big effort, but unfortunately, uh, not really enough we could do there to survive this uh, this play of uh, this protection and this defense here. 
crazy. Well, Link Mail Archfiend, today I learned. Clifford versus... God, the, the Giga Ray Gandara deck? Have you even pulled this off ever? I, I, I need to know. Alright, uh, Clifford out here gonna be uh, tribute summoning a stealth. We're gonna get a uh, draw one in the end phase, and we can also use the effect of... Why? You know you can stealth bounce your own cards, right? Stealth summon? You just didn't use stealth. You could self bounce your own scout and then reuse it, by the way. You get two searches in one turn. You could have got yourself a Recliate. Anyway, we're gonna draw for turn here. Here's a beater of billions. This card does not do anything against Clifforts. Are just malefic, huh? Okay, we're gonna draw two here. Doesn't this guy search the field spell? Uh, discard that. Yes, it does. Um, did you banish all three? Nope, you just didn't use it before deck thinning. Interesting strategy here. All right, here's the golden castle. Golden castle effect. Uh, gets to special summon Hextrude out of the deck here. He gets to destroy a card, but that's going to be chained with lose. One whole turn. I, I gotta see how this deck does, like, the Gigas strategy here. Okay, Special Summon Eater of Billions. Allure of Darkness gets to banish the Gandara. We're playing Magical Contract Door. Jeez. The Golden Homunculus. What is this deck? It's another field spell here. Magical Contract. Gives your opponent Stromberg for Stardust Dragon. Special's Malefic Stardust Dragon overlays into Lancelot, and Lancelot gets put into defense mode and passes? Was it even worth overlaying? I'm so confused here. Why would you do that? Oh, so that they can automatically negate here. Okay, that's 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 very good. Um, I guess you would just get your uh, extra negated, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Cliffort Scout, now we're adding a second monolith with the uh, Summoner's Art. Activate the Cliffort Scout here to add a carrier. Pendulum summon three monsters. They're going to be lose a turn here. Tribute for a monolith. Do you not play towers or something? Bounces away the Lancelot here. Battle phase. Oh, you poor fool. They always forget the Golden Castle bonus effect. It's Mirror Force. It's Blazing Mirror Force. It's better. All right. Uh, this Golden Castle Stronger banishes 10. There's three cards left in our deck, by the way. Anime! Anime! Tribute! Golden Homunculus! What's going on? What's going on? Explain! Gain 300 for each of your Banish cards. Huh? <laughs> uh, the, the Dreamers. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm gonna skip through the Dreamer turn here. Although, my god, you are playing Magical Mallet. Why? This is our standard setup here. We got double my body. I don't know how we ended with, up with that, but sure. Oh, no, no, don't Banish, of course. All right, this is the last Dark Lord player remaining. Can Wannabe do anything about this? Triple uh, Allure of Darkness has resolved. Banishing Nastin, we've hit re Reasoning, that's pretty good. I don't even know what you call against this deck. We called 8, apparently. Let's see if it was correct. Nope, it was Ukubak. Uh, Ukubak effect sends a Dark Lord card. We're gonna send Superbia. Ixchel discards itself with Uprising. What is Uprising? Uh, Dark Lord Contact brings back the Superbia. Uh, do we take damage from... What? So is this Field Spell? Like, a frick oh my god, these time opponent specials also inflict 300. Ow! It's a goddamn what's it called? A uh, Trickstar card. Here's first of the Dark Lords. Do we get to destroy anything? Did we get the effect? We didn't. We didn't use Morningstar as a material. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, here's the Condemned Dark Lord. Doing a lot of special summoning, by the way. This uh, life points is, is kind of hurting us. Here's Morningstar. Can we fuse again? Is there is there any way we can fuse again? Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we're scared. Now we're scared. We're tagging. We're using this thing. We're chaining. We're reviving. All right, we're going to actually use some disruption now. Here we go. Uh, we're going to pop Cross Sheep. Special summon out Phantasos. Phantasos brings back uh, Sprite. Sprite effect adds a copy of the Phantasms. And that's it. Summon out the Morning Star. Morning Star effect. If you tribute summon, you can special summon the Dark Lords from your deck. Here's the gang. Amdusk plus Nurgal into Black Luster Soldier of Chaos. Here he is. Steal with the trap effect. Taking the boy. Battle phase. BLS attacks again. Effect to double attack. No, we're going to banish instead. Deals burn damage. Nurgal. Morning Star. Pierce. 4,000. The first Dark Lord. GG! Through full combo! Firefest versus Gladbeast, the last bastion of the Beast Warriors have been paired up against one another here. Gladbeast are gonna go first here, we're gonna go Link Spooder, special summon out the Gladbeast uh, Andal here, we got Proving Ground for Adarex. Here is Proving Ground, gonna add a copy of Bestiari. Link up into the Test Panther. Test Panther going to add a co copy of Comeback. Why don't you come back here? Haha, -ha, into Andal. Test Panther gonna spin it away for Augustus. Augustus effects gets to special summon the Adarex. Adarex gets to dump another Augustus. Contact fuse into the editor. 
The editor summons out Dominatius, and we're gonna set and pass. All right, let's go. Uh, can you break a full Glad Beast board? Man, these decks, if they could see themselves in 2012 and then, you know, fast forward 11 years and see themselves now, would be something, huh? Would be something. All right, Cosmic Cyclone's gonna banish the tanky here. We're gonna go Forbidden Chalice immediately on the Dominatius. Normal summon out Leopard. Leopard is gonna get a Tensu from the deck here. We're gonna activate Tensu, extra normal summon. Are we gonna download some more RAM? No, we're actually gonna go for the Elephant. The Elephant sends to special summon the downloading of the RAM here for the Domai. Flipping the Domai face up here. Now we're gonna go into the Eagle. And Eagle will be activating to uh, target the Tensu, add it back to the hand here, and then dumps the Buffalo. The Buffalo sends the Tensu and the Domai to bring itself out of the graveyard here to trigger the Domai. The Domai then brings back the Elephant. The Elephant now gets the Activate to bring back the Domai, recycling to add a Panda. All right, now overlaying up into the Tiger King. Tiger King effect detaches to negate all cards on the field. First of all, we're going to set an Ingen here. Fix the Buffalo in the graveyard. Battle phase attacks over the Test Panther. Are we going to crash the Tiger King? Tiger King crashes, and we're going to use the Grave effect to summon out from our deck two copies of Dragon. The Editor tags in, though. We're going to go Mermelo. Mermelo effect pop one of the Dragons. Are we still going to be able to play here? We are indeed. Dragon going to bring back an Elephant. And now we're going to go into the Zodiac Chacanine. Isn't Cardinal better here? Just Cardinals shuffle these away. All right, well, we're going to Dryden pop one of these. And then into Ingen. Ingen activates. And then we get to special Panda. Panda brings back Dragon. Dragon brings back Tiger King. And uh, set pass. Okay, all right. I think we've kind of cleared here. Can Glad Beast come back from this? We're going to go Bestiari. Fine attack over here. Dryden's gonna pop what pop itself here. Uh, triggering the Vespinatus to special summon and destroy an attack over the Tiger King. Clears the Eagle so we don't get the Tiger King effect. Best Diari end the battle phase. Tags into the Equest. Equest brings back and the uh, Monster Reborn. Vespinatus triggers to go into the Best Diari. Best Diari pops the Torrential Tribute. Torrential Tribute coming in clutch here. Gonna destroy the Best Diari, the Mermelo, and the Equest. Ugh, are we top decking now or we main phase two comeback last card in hand is a comeback bringing back the editor and the editor activates to just summon out dominatius for free and pass turn and fire fist is top decking Woo! draw for turn here that's a quaking mirror force we're gonna set and pass here oh my god all right draw for turn that's a darius the editor summons out her Lakino. Battle phase attempts to use the Quaking Mirror Force. Negates with her Lakino by trait by discarding for cost to discard to destroy and negate. And that is gonna be the end of the duel. Dominatius for 35. And her Lakino for game. Let's see. We've got a layer mirror for top four. I hate it. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate that this happened. Let's hit that fast forward button and see what, what goes down here. Oh, you have to reveal them because of deck death. That's hilarious. All right, Aramod, tribute a token here. Get our own Diabolosis into Dark the Dark Charmer for Z Girl here. Tributing off this for some uh, some more trap cards out of the deck here. Gets a Ballista Squad. Summons the Diabolosis. Battle phase. Crashes them. All right, we've established dominance here. Finally, the Lair player with the Lair has won. That is so shocking. How could this happen? Can you possibly draw anything in the Lair mirror match? A Lord of the Prison, and that's not going to be good enough here. Let's see if we can put game on board. It's uh, 38.50 to the moon. Oh, yes, we can. That's more than enough for game. GG! All right, battle phase. Oh, we're going to tribute this first. Rip this out the hand here. No! You did No! What are you doing? Stop throwing! Okay, okay, okay. Emergency averted. 18.50, 1,000, 2,000. GG! Wow, that was so close. All right, what do we got here? Final Crash is going to start with Pot of Prosperity for Judgment. Judgment. Ice Dragon. But there's so many good cards that just shit on Cosmo, isn't there? My god. All right, well, we got Lair of Darkness. That's the most important card in our deck here. Would you believe it? Getting a copy of Lair of Darkness to our hand here. Do we also have the Lilith? Uh, we've got Lady of Lament here, who banishes a trap to specials itself. And oh my god, we also have this. My god, that's crazy. All right, we're getting Ballista, Ballista, and Eradicator. Uh, Alice activates, apparently, to add a Lilith. And we're going to set another mystery card and pass it up here. Oh, that's a very, very clutch Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre und Schneehasse. So you will not be able to tribute my monsters using Lair, my friend. Oh, no siree. All right, here we go. Pot of D. Going to draw two here. Banish 10. Draw two. Reasoning. I'm trying to be reasonable with you. Level four. Hits a 10 can. There's a Wicked Witch. Lilith going to tribute four. A bunch of traps here. Meta, meta into Ice Dragon. 
We'll see what he hits in a second here. E teleport! Oh my god, is it game? Is it game? No! Torrential tribute! Okay, we're gonna tag all of these out into ships. Do we have ships? Do we have ships? <gasps> we have one ship. Do we have another ship? Do we have another ship? Do we have more ships? Any more ships? No more ships? No more ships? Do we have ships? Where's the wind ship? Dark destroyer! That's huge. Okay, destroy. This one stays because it protects itself for a thousand life boys. Dark destroyer. Float into a slip rider, maybe. Pop a back row here. Oh, you should have hit the new card. All right, well, we're going to hit Ballista Squad. That's also pretty good here. Set to and pass. No way. Is Cosmo making an actual... There's no way Cosmo wins this matchup in a best of three, right? Oh, that's a good pot of extravagance top deck here. Draw two cards. Do we see a Cosmo? Draw? Layer of Darkness is activated. That's not good. Do we have a normal summon? Do we have a tribute for it? Lilith! No! Activate the Lilith for a cost. Tributing the Slip Rider to get three trap cards from the deck here. Gosh darn! If you had a Cosmojo, you misplayed. You should have immediately cosmojo on the activation of Lair. Uh, let's see if uh, we can uh, do anything about this here, because this honestly might be the end of the game now. Like, you are just in such a bad spot. Uh, once Lair gets online with constant tributing, it's actually just GG. All the Haunted, maybe? I, I, that card could be good. Uh, we're going to go Ice Dragon, Ice Dragon, Ice Dragon for, uh, I mean, yeah, Psychics and Machines. That's, uh, that's going to be really strong here. Don't know what we hit. Doesn't look like we've got any relevant... Well, something's flashing. We don't know what it is. It's probably just the Wicked Witch protection effect here. Sets another back row. And I guess we're just going to pass it up here. End phase, we're going to get a token as well. Oh, you did have Cosmojo. No, you misplayed. Oh, you would have just insta-won the game if you Cosmojo the lair on activation. Because then you're a Slip Rider would float into a body. They wouldn't have a way to tribute your monsters. And now you're just top deck. Oh, I just... It doesn't matter. They had another... Li How? How? Alright, well, on the plus side, if you get through this one final layer of darkness, you might be, uh, you might be okay, but then again, getting through a layer Lilith lock that's already established while top decking seems pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. Set a card and pass. That's... Ugh, that's rough. Uh, layer mandatorily activates in the end phase. It's not gonna get anything here. Draw for turn. I mean... At this point, if you're Final Crash, you just need some pressure to try and close this one out because Lilith tribute a Psychic or a Machine every single turn is just... Bleh. There it is! Pot of Duality! Duality for an Ice Dragon, a Ghost Ogre, and a Tour Guide. You get Tour Guide for next turn, maybe? Or you could just go for Ice Dragon for the super protection here. Oh, you can go Ice Dragon, summon uh, Slip Rider, maybe, or something. Or you could just use it defensively. I probably want to get some pressure going. I don't want to let my opponent draw into any outs here. All right, we're setting and passing here. End phase. Are we going to flip any of these cards? These don't seem to be active cards, by the way. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of yikes. And at any point here, anything we summon is just going to be tributed for cost. It's such a, such a menace, this deck, dude. Such a menace. Normal summon straw, man. I don't think your opponent's going to let you uh, have a chance to activate this to bring back a Dark Destroyer here. Uh, Torrential Tribute immediately on summon of straw, man. I mean, they should have just... Okay, you got priority to use a quick effect, actually. So that's, uh... That's pretty okay. So now you clear the Lilith, so they don't have something to tribute every turn. It's not too bad. They still have ways to tribute if they hit this Ballista Squad, for example. Four back row. Alright, Lilith has been dealt with, but again, we're still top decking. I mean, best case scenario, we go Call the Haunted. For Strawman. They definitely play Call the Haunted. Well, at least they used to. Maybe not anymore. End phase, we're going to pass here. Uh, our opponent's going to get a token. Okay, we get a token. I don't know if that's, like, good in Cosmo, really, but it's something. Gives us more turns here. Remember, there's only one more layer to fight through. You've dealt with two, somehow. Just one more layer. Another set card. They don't have anything for you just yet. End phase. All right. Can we see anything? The best top deck was really straw man there, but unfortunately you had to uh, torrential it away. You probably could have just held it in your hand and waited a turn. Not like this deck is going to kill you anytime soon. Uh, well, I mean, you never know. Ice dragons and stuff like that can steal big guys here. Gonna put this token into attack mode here. Alright, we don't have a chip to tribute summon. Oh, yikes. We're gonna go ballista squad in the battle phase. That's a bit of a debate, honestly. I don't care. I am taking a thousand damage and I don't really give a shit. I am holding this ballista squad... For any time, they just summon a psychic or a machine. That's uh, that's what I'm doing personally. Um, all right. Well, judgment has been hit from the uh, ballista squad, by the way. End phase, they get another token. So I, j I don't really feel like that was a good ballista squad. I don't. It didn't really seem to achieve anything. Like we're back to square one. You eliminated a judgment, I guess. 
a random back row at the time. In hindsight, I guess maybe it was good. Oh, nasty top deck here. Oh, actually, it's only a upstart goblin. We've completely run out of extra deck monsters. So, yeah, it looks like we are going to go Ice Dragon Beatdown. Gotta get some pressure here. You don't want your opponent top decking it out to lair. All right, we're going to steal the Wicked Witch. Uh, probably better to take a pilot instead of a machine in case it gets destroyed, and then your opponent gets to float it. We go for Wicked Witch here. It's definitely negated, right? Yes. I'm gonna punch for punch over this token here, and the Layer of Darkness activates it. Do we tribute anything? We didn't, right? Yep. No. Nope. Pass turn here. Two cards in hand. What are you drawing, Dvalia? What are you drawing? This is uh, this is scary. Reasoning. Oh my God. Okay. If your opponent doesn't have another tribute, you could be very, very fine here. I don't know what number you even call. You're gonna call four. I think four is correct. Okay, Dark Lady. That's really... That's not the best one. You would prefer, like, a big machine, but Dark Lady's good. Oh my god, they actually have a ship! Um, a, a virus! No! Ooh, last card in hand. Pot of Desires. I don't think you want to activate that, do you? That will leave you with, uh, six cards in deck. Weird, though, because, like, then Deck Devastation Virus checks your hand every single turn. And you really can only top deck a pilot at this point, so I don't know. All right, draw for turn. I feel like Final Crash is like one good monster away from just sealing this now. Just basically anything you draw is a good top deck. Basically every trap card is live. Um, every monster you draw is live. Like I just, I don't know if there's any dead draws in your deck at this stage, except maybe like another extravagance. Uh, whereas Devalia needs to exactly specifically somehow draw a way to survive, draw an out to lair, and also establish control of the field again like it's just I, I don't know you need like some miracles to happen right now top deck's a judgment off of this deck devastation virus all right draw for turn here what do we ban for this deck by the way do we ban lair diablosis arima and lilith oh my god you top deck lilith this is just actually just over that's the end of the game well i guess you have judgment but now you're on two turn clock now some of the good traps may need to go at this point maybe we'll take a look at the deck list tomorrow why did you activate the Wicked Witch? Are you paying your life points down for some reason? Why was that a BM Wicked Witch? 11 Ice Dragon for game. Wait a minute, you knew they had Ice Dragon. No, wait, we actually didn't know they had Ice Dragon. That's game! Summon Slip Rider in attack mode. And 23 GG. All right, that's the end of the duel. Well, that is another episode in the bag. Big shout outs to my moderators for being able to uh, keep on top of things with the ban lists, etc., etc. Uh, a lot of uh, admin and sort of organization comes behind the scenes to be able to run a series like this. And again, remember that this is open to all, so all you need to do is join the Discord and have a legal deck to take part yourself. This week's meta is very diverse, although every week is quite uh, diverse in and of itself. It just means we don't have like maybe eight unique decks. Every single deck in Top 16 basically is a unique deck, except for Layer of Darkness here. So... It's crazy to think that these archetypes took this long to top. I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Uh, Glad Beast as well, I really do think, is such an under sort of rated deck. I mean, it's really crazy compared to how this deck used to play 10 years ago with all of the crazy new support they've had. Time Thief as well is quite shocking to me because I think Redo is just an insane boss monster. But anyway, uh, here is your deck list. Uh, sorry, here is your breakdown. I will leave a deck list uh, link in the description for you to check out on the spreadsheet. Big shout out again to my moderators for uh, putting that together. So uh, this has been your Top Cut. Make sure you tune in next time. Remember, I'll be live for my subathon uh, and I'll be live for the next episode on the subathon, which I hope you'll uh, at least watch and tune in and even take part yourself because like I said, it's free and open to all. Thank you everyone for watching and until next time, adios. I'm a chef, chef too.